second mob lynching in one week for sacrilege of Sikh holy sites. On December 18th, a man in the Kapurthala district was lynched by a mob for supposedly disrespecting the Nis Nisan, no, Nishan Sahib, or the Sikh flag, by locals. Um, Harkam, Har Harkam, oh my goodness. Harkamal Preet Singh, a police officer at the scene, explained that the man tried to steal the flag. The angry mob overpowered the officers who were apprehending the suspect and beat him to death. A few hours prior to this incident, a man was beaten to death by a crowd for attempting to steal a ceremonial sword that was placed next to the Sikh holy book at the temp Golden Temple at uh, Amritsar. Sacrilege cases are historically not given as much attention compared to other crimes in the region, which some say motivates the mob justice. Uh, Jarnal Singh uh, Dorga, Dogra, a uh, guru, oh my goodness, Gujwara, there we go, a Gujwara official, said to NDTV, quote, this was an unfortunate event. Such incidents uh, are happening repeatedly. So... What's interesting is, so just to clarify, in terms of these two different lynchings that happened over um, Sikh blasphemy over the past week, um, sometimes the the timeline of when they happened are reported differently. But in general, um, it's reported that these happened either within 24 hours of each other or um, within two days of each other. It was like boom, boom, right after another. And um, what was really interesting yeah, Katie's saying both cases happened over the weekend, not even an entire week. Yeah, it was like one after another. Um, there's been a huge backlash over these types of events. So there was a um, public official. Let me look up exactly what his um, title is. Um, but there was, oh, he's a, a Punjab Congress chief, Navjot Singh Sindhu demanded public executions for those found guilty of sacrilege. So he's saying he he <laughs> declared that people should be publicly hanged for sacrilege. What's happening with is this like a recent trend or was this always there and we didn't like why is this picking up faster than before? Like, is there, like, is there a mood change or something within the Sikh community? Like, how is this happening so fast? I back think there back? is rising tensions. Partially, it does have to do with the elections happening in the area. I think that's part of it. Hmm. So it's, it, I want to read part of his quote. He's saying, if any inc incidents of sacrilege takes place, be it of the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita, or the Guru Granth Sahib, the culprits should be publicly hanged, should be given the maximum punishment under the Constitution because such incidents hurt our sentiments. Anyone oh. can make a mistake, but not, but this is not a mistake. This is a conspiracy to weaken and finish the society. So when I was doing research on this, I found it really interesting that there were a number of Sikh leaders talking about how these incidents of sacrilege are a deep-rooted conspiracy, to use their quotations. So they feel like this is actually a conspiracy to target them specifically, attack them specifically. Secular radio is saying, mm -hmm. God damn, bro. Fines, totally. Fines, totally. Jail, sure. Public executions? F like, it, man. Not Calm fine. Down. Not sure. Like none of this, guys. This is for feelings that we're talking about here. Okay, so guys, never forget that when when people make fun of you know far leftist, wokeistani people for being sensitive, okay, and snowflakes and butthurt over everything, okay. Never forget that the OG sensitive snowflakes are right-leaning religious people, okay? Because as bad as, you know, Wokistanis are when it comes to like, oh, my feelings, my feelings, somebody save my feelings. They, I don't recall them being so hurt that think that it justifies execution <laughs> okay i don't recall them 
the, ever thinking like my feelings are so precious that you hurting them requires well, justifies execution like i've never seen any group of people take their feelings as so seriously as much as religious people do like is that not fair to say no it's so true when i was reading this news i literally exclaimed out loud and like the person i was with was like what what's going on i, I was just so like pissed and outraged i was like of course to make it so clear so obvious that this is literally about your feelings being hurt I'm like i feel like this is so specific to religion are are there other ideologies that justify this simply on the basis of your sentiments or feelings being hurt like i can't think of it i don't think i don't think there are to my that's coming to mind political ideologies that operate on this way there's like weird cults but i would put that also in the realm of superstition dogma that you know is neighbors with religion it's so specific read what yes, this Hockham person is, saying. is what who's saying hakim hakim is hakim amralat valazi Okay, I don't know if I read that right. <laughs> My feelings are more important than your existence. Yeah, and that's the message yeah. here. That's the message. Um, Katie is saying, I thought they are I thought they already think you are connected to the ISI. Oh no, this is from the last Oh no, that's what sorry, sorry, that's it. Rudresh is saying this movement was given power during farmers' protest. Is that true? We don't know if that's true. I I don't know if I completely agree with that. I feel like it's definitely got a heightened profile. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a conspiracy or if it's true. So I'm not going to comment on it because some people might suggest that the farmers uh, protest might try. Some people are trying to delegitimize the farmers protest by connecting it to the Sikh. You know, I don't know. Or so we don't the Khalistani separatist movement. Um, Katie is saying, oh, I love this comment. If the, if the society is finished by sacrilege, I think such a society should be finished. Boom. Nailed oh it. Oh my, that, that should be printed and framed and hang, hung on a wall. Put that on I a t-shirt. Put it on a t-shirt. Yeah, exactly. Fantastic. Um, Nobara is saying Sikhs are all, were always intolerant of criticism. They seem to slow down in between but now had a sprung back to life i don't think we should say sikhs again because that's like generalizing say many generalizing all sikhs i'm pretty sure there are many sikhs out there that would condemn this so let's not over generalize an entire group of people so be guys it's very like this might seem like i'm being picky but it's very important it's it is. very important for us not to use generalizing language and group an entire I, you know what? Actually, it's pretty safe to say that the vast majority of the Sikhs on the, in the world will completely condemn this. Okay, so we could see this as a problem. We could see it as a trend. We could see it as a problem that you know that needs to be addressed, and also blame it on Sikhism and religion. Okay, but it's very important not to condemn an entire group of people, and also to address that you know just like most Muslims are better than Islam. Most Hindus are better than Hinduism. More, most Christians are better than Christianity. I'm pretty sure that most Sikhs are also better than this. Okay, and most Sikhs will look at this and will be horrified and will say that they condemn this. Okay, so don't say Sikhs. It's very important that you we use the proper language here. Um, Katie is saying my sentiments are hurt that there are people getting lynched for alleged blasphemy. Gonna hang all promoters of blasphemy laws now. Good point. And, and it, this comment really gets to the fact that religious sentiments are privileged above others. Boldly so, right? Like, the offense over other things isn't given the same level of gravitas. I also wanted to read this other quote, because um, there, there, I was actually the first leader to condemn these lynchings. Saying days after sacrilege incidents in Punjab, former Chief Minister Captain Amarinder Singh on Tuesday said that there is, quote, no justification for mob lynching and it is condemnable. 
to question on to a question on lynchings in um Amritsar and uh Kapursala. Captain Amarinder said that the accused should have been handed over to the police. Quote, no civilized society can and should approve of such killings. So he he was the first prominent um, leader to actually speak out against this. Seeing there's no justification for mob lynching, none whatsoever, and it is condemnable. Wait, what, what politician is this? Um, he was a former chief minister. Okay, but so, like, why is this like? Uh, is this the standard that we have that we are like congratulating a politician where there's like mob lynching bad, and we're like, hey, like, is that how how far back we have gone that we're like impressed by politicians saying mob lynching bad? It 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 it, it caught the attention of news. He was the first person to actually be condemn this. How long? When you take? said that the vast majority of Sikhs would like speak out against this i don't know if it, you you could say vast majority because the temperature that i'm getting lately is that this is par for the course particularly in punjab Come on, like, maybe I mean, the diaspora would be different uh, okay you have to let me believe in the human race <laughs> like, I, I know can, right I, I cannot accept that the the human mind like okay so I don't have access to any polls, so I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but, it's something I want to research a lot more. Yeah, but I cannot, I cannot even comprehend the possibility of in the, the vast majority of people thinking like, "Oh, yeah, yes, he deserved, like he deserved this, like that would, you know." I mean, I, I what are you just talking like, about, Armin? We cover issues in Pakistan all the time, and that's the temperature there. Yeah, well, Pakistan has people. Have, well, I, I mean, even in pa no, actually, that's okay. Pakistan is the worst example on the planet right now. Okay, like when it comes to mob mentality, like it's True. not just the government, it's the people. Okay, but even in Pakistan, right, the Islamic movements that are doing mo this mob justice stuff, they don't represent the majority of Pakistan. They're no. just the most. Yeah, I, I, see. No, you're I, right. I you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. So even in the worst country, right, most people there are not part of the uh, group that goes and gets um, these like violent justice. Like they don't, they condemn that. And in fact, they shock, like most Pakistanis are, when they see this, are shocked about where their country is he heading, right? Mm -hmm. uh, they do not justify this. But it's just more, it's more like these, is that these radical Islamic groups, they're just the most, the loudest ones and the most willing to come out and the most willing to take risk and the most willing to sacrifice their own lives for, for their beliefs, but they're not the majority. Okay. I mean, they, they like the TLP has never been the fact that they never managed to get, like whenever they had part, took part in elections, they never got majority vote, not even close, right? Not even close. So it shows to me that even in Pakistan, when the TLP doesn't get a majority vote, like that shows to me that most people are better than these radical groups, even the people that are supposed to be subscribing to the ideology, right? Um, yes. No, I yeah. was wrong, and I apologize. I well, uh, am not afraid to say I stand corrected. So thank you. Well, that's impressive. No, yeah. Let's let's get into it. I'm. I, I'll accept that. Um, uh, let me know if you name has find... an interesting comment. He's saying, yeah, "Whoops!" In this, in an honor-based society, vengeance is an acceptable way to get justice. I think that's very true, and this is something I still grapple to understand because I wasn't raised in an honor-based society. Well, here's he, let me actually um, ex part of honor-based society is an unreliable justice system you know what i mean like hmm. you tend to get honor-based societies because you need another framework for justice when you can't rely on a, a framework that the government is providing you know what i mean so you can't just be blaming i mean you can blame society but you can't just blame the society you could also blame uh, the lack of alternatives because 
people will, you know, find alternatives if you don't provide them something strong to rely on for justice, right? Um, uh, Nachi Kat Patel is saying, for your understanding, recent polls show Sikhs in Punjab are more radical than Muslims in Pakistan. Well, I would like what kind of poll? Where? Because I'm actually interested in learning about this. Yeah, kind but of that thing. doesn't still doesn't answer my question when it comes to uh, whether a majority of um, Sikhs would like do something like this or not. Look no, at this, no. Look at this comment. Like, look at this. Armin and Susanna don't know about Sikhs extremism yet. Hello. LOL, hey, 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 probably because they are less in population. We're just, we we just uh, did so many streams right now about Sikhs, okay? We have a history of talking about Sikhs. We do, we have discussed the Sikhs uh, so many times on our channel. Like maybe, maybe we should say beep boop, don't know much about Armin and Susanna, LOL, probably because your beep boop is either an idiot or speaks before, before actually tr trying to, before watching the rest of our streams or before actually doing a, even a little bit of research before speaking out, okay? Maybe because Beep Boop just comments without actually checking whether what they're saying is true or not. Maybe that's why, LOL, okay? So there's that. Um, Isn't the largest or either the largest or the most deadly um, violent extremist attack in Canada's history, like yes. a, a Sikh separatist? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, so we know that people like, oh, we don't know about radical Sikh, Sikhs. Oh, by the way, something about Sikhs, uh, which is kind of interesting. Like they keep telling us that, oh, th we have a we we carrying a dagger because we're peaceful, um, and like it's a symbol of peaceful being peaceful. Like, why is it a symbol of being peaceful? It's like because you're never supposed to take it out unless you draw blood, uh, like. So the fact that you're not supposed to take it out unless you draw blood, that makes it a symbol of peace because that means that you you just don't, you know, unshield your sword or dagger or whatever. Like unless you really mean it. I like that doesn't seem that doesn't sound peaceful at all. That, I'm not too <laughs> comforted by that, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not getting no, I'm not getting you're, peaceful you're, vibes. You don't pull it out unless you're you're intending to inflict <laughs> serious damage. So you're like, oh, wait a second. <laughs> I like, I like, how is that peaceful? It's like, no, no, you're, you're not listening, Armin. We it's only peaceful. draw to kill. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you're not listening. The reason why it's peaceful, it means that we don't just like, it, we just, we don't, it's unlikely for us to just pull out our sword, okay? Because we are like very selective for when we pull out our sword. I'm like, okay, okay, just stay away from me. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like, I don't like people who are, yeah, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna ban some people who are like putting some weird URLs in our live chat. Um, okay, can we, Oh, here, let, let's read this one while I pick up, bring the next one. Redrush is saying, Sikhs do public service and don't convert, so they generally have a positive attitude among people. So this is like the public image that they get, right? Mm -hmm. But then this stuff goes down, which is why I highlight it, because a lot of people say, oh, if I was going to convert to any religion, it'd be like Sikhism, or to be sick. And I'm like, Mm, there's there's some there's some wild stuff that happens. Like it's not all... um, every religion has a PR front, okay, and which is needed. I mean, if 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 a religion was purely evil, it would just eradicate within one generation. You need a you you can't last without a good PR front, right? So yeah. Uh, mm, so yeah, Sikhism has public service and they give out free food and they're often very delicious, okay? And very good. Oh my God, I'm getting hungry. Um, but- Wait, now I am hungry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> actually they're pretty fattening. So maybe it's not a public, it's a public disservice because it's fattening up people. <laughs> It's it's not good. Taking people away from the true light of Arminism, which is to make the world <laughs> <Yeah>. lean. 
it's, it's actually it's, it's increasing the cost of healthcare. That's what it's doing. Okay. So, <laughs> so no, okay. So, um, no, what was I saying? But okay, but Christianity also has, you know, how many Christian charities there are, right? You know, how many the world charities I say Christian charities are they are pre they are they are like they are called charities but they are actually PR fronts for Christian the Christian brand okay and also Islam has zakat it's like it's one of the five pillars of Islam is like charity is one of the five pillars of Islam right so if you think Sikhism is like should be like oh Sikhism is okay it's not like Islam or Christianity look they give out free food they have public service well if that's your excuse for Sikhism then Islam is good Christianity is good Hinduism is good all religions are, are good because they all have that they all have that so you can't use that as an excuse what what you what <laughs> You're still laughing about the public hazard situation. No, because Ghost Bunny saying Susie snorts so cute. <laughs> oh. I do snort when I laugh. It's, yeah, it is. It is cute. All right, all right. <laughs> I'm gonna give another. No. Okay, okay. Can we um, clap for the next news? Wait, wait. One more. One more comment. This is interesting um nobara is seeing sikhs like every other group out there have their ups and downs till the 1990s punjabi hindu families used to donate their eldest sons to gudwaras to be raised as six yeah this is why we don't uh, we, we don't collectively judge an entire group of people okay this is why we don't judge muslims we don't judge christians we don't judge hindus we don't judge sikhs because there are many good Muslims and bad Muslims, good Christians and bad Christians, good Hindus and bad Hindus, good Sikhs and bad Sikhs, good atheists and bad atheists, okay? You can't collectively judge an entire group of people, okay? There are even individuals who used to be good and now they're bad, or used to be bad and now they're good. Like even, you can't even judge an, an one individual, okay? Like entire individual, okay? So what makes you think you could judge an entire group of people? But that's why we judge religions okay and it's easy guys it's so easy to judge religions we have like the easiest job in the on the whole planet you know why because they're all moronic they're all based on nonsense they're all <laughs> based on faith okay we don't judge people we judge religions and we don't really need that much to go to to justify ourselves because they're all based on magic they're all based on lala and woo and mysticism and revelation okay all that's all you need that's all you need to be like okay this is this is nonsense this is pathetic this is weak this is lame this needs this needs to be eradicated we need to move on we need to progress let this let go of this all this like woo fuckery come on guys like we need to progress to the next to the next to, to the 21st century please let us let us move on okay it's easier to judge religions than people okay people are complicated religions are just a bunch of nonsensical texts that make no sense at all okay i mean they make sense if you look at it from a historical perspective and they're interesting but from like a metaphysical or like claims about the universe or nature they are absolute garbage nonsense it's so obvious that they're garbage nonsense okay anyways anyways <laughs> okay. um darker say i can judge just fine thank you okay <laughs> all right um <laughs> be modern already <laughs> yes, exactly. be modern already that should be my tagline be modern already modern no it already. should be i'm just trying to transcend my human form god damn it <laughs> <laughs> atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Abhabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below. 